The second learning objective in session seven are features of bonds. Again, bonds are uh, have a rich, rich um, lexicon and a rich uh, set of terminology that we have to understand. When you buy a bond, uh, you will get and sign an indenture. An indenture is a written agreement between the corporation and you, the lender. And what is an indenture? Well, it is the legal document that explains the terms of the bonds, the total amount issued, description of any property that might be used as security, as collateral, uh, repayment arrangements, any call provisions. So is your bond callable by the corporation? That would be called out in the indenture. And are there any protective covenants protecting you, the investor? Um, registered form is one form of a bond. And I have a, uh, this is actually a government bond here. Um, that is in registered form, and it has uh, my name on it, my wife's name on it. And I began buying bonds, government bonds, uh, when I worked in industry at a local defense contractor and uh, started saving essentially for my uh, children's education. At the time, we didn't even have any children yet. We knew we wanted to have children someday, and one good way was to just a fairly safe way was to put our money into uh, government bonds. Uh, this is a tr uh, treasury bond, um, U U.S. savings bond, $50 value, and I believe I paid uh, $25 for it. Generally, they were about half price, and they would mature at some time in the future. Um, and, and some of these keep gaining interest, and some stop gaining interest. Some are tax deductible if used for educational purposes under certain years, not every one. So there are certain conditions on all these bonds. And you can find the value of the bond today by typing in this registration number that is at the bottom of the bond. But this is a registered bond. It's in my, my name and my wife's name, and only we can cash it. Uh, payment is made directly to us, and uh, most uh, corporate bonds are registered these days, and treasury bonds are in this format these days. Uh, bear bonds, in some of the old days, it used to be whoever held the bond was entitled to cash it. So if you dropped it on the ground and lost it, um, well, too bad. So uh, recommendation is always buy bonds in registered form. Uh, some other terminology, collateral, are assets that are placed to back the bond in case something would happen to the company. Uh, perhaps we put buildings as collateral. We could sell those assets and uh, get some cash and then pay back our bondholders. So you'll see the term uh, collateral being used very frequently. Uh, mortgage securities are bonds that are secured by a mortgage on the property of the borrower. Uh, seniority, there are junior bonds and senior bonds, and the, this is indication over uh, who gets paid first in, in uh, case of default. Um, bonds can be repaid at maturity for the face value and then may be repaid uh, in part or in total before maturity if they're callable. Uh, to this end, the CFO might set up a sinking fund, to kind of a savings account that uh, the trustee would manage to redeem the bond early. And again, what's the CFO doing managing his or her uh, debt to equity ratio, essentially. They're just trying to uh, call it in early, and if they do that, they're able to uh, manage debt to equity. Uh, if they have a particularly good year cash-wise, they have lots of cash sitting around, they may elect to call in some of the bonds if the bond has a call provision. So we can call these things in early if there's a bond provision for uh, a call uh, indicated in the bond indenture. Typically, you'll get a bond premium. You may get uh, the $1,000 back plus all or part of a portion of the um, coupon. So that should be all called out in the indenture. You also get some protective covenants that protect you uh, listed in the indenture, uh, a list of thou shalts and thou shalt nots. Uh, thou shalt uh, only pay certain amounts of dividends. Thou shalt not take on any more debt. Um, thou shalt not merge with another firm or some sample negative covenants. Also, you may get some positive uh, covenants that say thou shalt keep uh, your uh, financial statements in good order. Uh, you shall prepare financial statements and, and show them to us on a regular basis and keep your collateral in good condition. So you'll see some uh, protective covenants that protect you, the bond holder. Um, some bond features, uh, here's a sample indenture uh, of Bristol Myers Squibb. Uh, the amount of issue was a billion dollars for Bristol Myers Squibb. The date of the issue uh, was 5 1 2008. Uh, that one does the bond mature 30 years later, and that is uh, 5 1 2038. What's the face value of this bond? $1,000. Uh, the coupon listed in the indenture is uh, $61.25, so that makes the coupon rate 6.125%. Uh, an offer price of uh, 99.37. 
uh, 5% of par or $993.75. Uh, does a bond make annual or semi-annual coupon payments? This is a semi-annual bond, so if you're calculating price, C by 2, R by 2, T times 2. Does the bond have any collateral? Uh, no, in this case. Uh, nothing behind it. Can the bond be called in early? Yes, it's a callable bond. It has a provision set forth right in the indenture. And what is the standard importer's rating? A2 or uh, A in the case of Moody's. So a fairly uh, good invest, fairly safe investment. There are higher ratings than that, as we'll see in a minute, but uh, still not bad in the case of Bristol-Myers Squibb. 